designing and building your own audiophile speakers you most likely will have to make up your mind and make a decision between closed or a ported system which one is best so let me introduce you to these two systems the closed box is pretty much what it says it's by a, imagine a box six sides all closed up you make the hole for the speaker drivers put them in and maybe like something to put the wire in from the back some kind of terminal there that's it so fully closed box it's the audio files preferred because it by default gives you a really nice impulse response when built right of course but there's a good chance you get a very nice what's called impulse response which is meaning that it's precise fast bass the ported box typically chased by the bass head um, it will provide you some extra bass uh, and deeper bass uh, but it all depends we'll get into that later but so by using a tube like a, a pipe you probably have seen in the speaker like a hole and then a pipe in there that pipe will create a resonance sort of like blowing over a, um, a bottle and it will give that whoo, whoo, and that it will do at a certain frequency depending on the box depending on the woofer and depending on the length and width of that pipe and that will help the driver to lower bass and 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 stronger bass by um, alleviating some pressure inside of the box and provide some sound so but it will make some kind of a a tail on each bass note because you have to build up the pressure in the cabinet like inside of the box and for that pressure to get past the tube the pipe and create this resonance from the pipe and something that's called uh, time smearing and that a audiophile would consider a bad thing but like any good drama it's never that simple and the likely hero might have some really dirty secrets and can be quite abusive to the wrong woofer so all these woofers have personalities something we call TL small parameters those are two guys that kind of mapped all this out and found models calculations to kind of predict a good outcome so that's why we have this all these data uh, to make these calculations with but we won't go all the way out on the deep end and start finding out uh, exactly the size of box and make all these calculations let's just figure out which of the systems closed or vented and the way to assess this and figure out a very good and likely situation where this woofer will really flourish is called the efficiency bandwidth product but it's used just as the abbreviation ebp value so the ebp value you can calculate from just two TL small parameters. One is called the FS and one is called the QES. The FS is the resonance frequency in free air. So that is where the speaker driver, the woofer, is resonating all by itself once going through the sweep. So that could be like whatever, 30, 40, 50, 60 hertz, like in the deep area, you know, of sound. The other value, QES, is where it's electrically is resonating. Like how much is it resonating at that frequency? So let's say that we have an example here. So uh, if we look for FS, you will find that it's 38 for this driver. And then we'll find QES, which is 0 0.55. And so the QES is, the higher that number is, the more it's resonating. And um, so 0 0.55 is kind of like in the middle somewhere um, where a low QES will be down at like 0.2 and a high, fairly high one is 1.2. So the, the higher that number is, the more it's resonating. And so when you have a woofer resonating a lot, 
at a fairly low frequency, you need to help that woofer to control itself. And that's where the box comes in. And a closed box is really good at that. But where a woofer that resonates less would need some help to get more full in sound. So from that, we can derive a scale between these two numbers. So the value of 50 is ideal for a closed box and the, and the value of 90 is ideal for the vented box. So with those two numbers in mind, 50 and 90, we can now calculate with our FS and QES. So what it is, is that we take FS and divide it by QES. And 38 divided by 0.55 gives 69. So that puts us right down the middle with 69 between the ideal of 50 for a closed box and 90 for the vented box. So, so you can actually choose, now choose between the two. And so if you're more into impulse response, you will choose the, the closed box. And if you want extended, uh, more extended bass, more powerful bass, you'll choose the, 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 uh, the ported box. But, okay, let's say that the result went to, uh, to one side. So that, let's say that it, the uh, eBPL value was 55. Well, then you really want to choose the closed box. And if it went to 90, you really want to make sure that you choose the, the ported box. And the reason is you, that you don't want to go against uh, this value is that if you do, let's say that it was 55 of the EPP value, your base is very, very, very likely to subjectively, from the experience like you're having with the music, the music, the bass will be very muddy, uh, very unprecise and, and just keep lingering in bass and one note will fall over the other one. Um, so a mu muddy perspective of bass, not a firm, cool, uh, with nice nuances and everything. The more space there is between the impulses, the more clear it is to what's going on and you can hear small nuances to the instruments. And so, but, but on the other hand, let's say that it was uh, 85 or even maybe even 95 uh, that your calculation ends up on the EBP value you will have an anemic base, like you will have a lack of base. You will, you, it will be thin and transparent sounding. So for those uh, speaker drivers where you get that kind of result, you really want to try and look at a, a system of that kind, you know, of a ported system or a passive radiator, which is related to the ported system. They kind of have all the same theories, uh, different calculation models because you're dealing with, uh, you know, a, a speaker driver with no motor versus a pipe. So in conclusion, there is no best between these two, really. It is subjectively what you like and plus if one your speaker driver the one you already have is off to one of the sides when you calculate that EBP value then it's already predispositioned to that type of enclosure and you know what the consequence will be if you go against it. So as a final heads up I want to say that if you're looking for other woofers for your speakers because they got fried at the last party playing some hyper tracks, dark side or something like that, you now know the importance of those woofers to be having the same TL small data as the ones you had before in order to get the same result. You can't just willy nilly put uh, if you have like two eight inches woofer in, in, your, in your speaker, just replace them with something that fits in the box. Not gonna work. 
but we'll get all back into that in some other videos about calculating speaker boxes, looking at crossovers and all these kind of things. And please ask in the comment section and uh, also give an idea for a new video. That would be really awesome. So well, thank you for watching this about EBP values, efficiency bandwidth product. Here is Kent and take care guys and have fun with your projects. Bye.